I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valpet, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly U vs. Sun reading, Saji, uh, between you and your person. Now, when it comes to these readings, Sagittarius, be sure to rely on your intuition, including my general readings that I offer for your zodiac sign, Sagittarius, which I'll leave a link to over here. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Sagittarius, so take the cards that resonate. Leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it. If you find some cards that resonate with you, Sagittarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonates with you and called out to you the most, because that's how I call, uh, keep up with you guys in the comments, is through hearing how the cards resonate for each of y'all's personal lives. And then I'm going to ask for you to give this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video because it does help out my channel a lot. And I'm super appreciative of it, Sagittarius, when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Saji, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, something to consider as you go throughout your week with your person. I'm not here to make a decision for you. I'm not here to speak for anybody either. Um, I'm just here to give you some food for thought, something for you to consider. Right. So with all that being said, Saji, let's get into your reading. Right. We have, I have already pulled a card for you, Sagittarius, a card for them, and a card for the energy between y'all, Saji. But um, we'll start with the general energies of things when it comes to this week, with this connection. We'll start with the moon card coming in, full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Whenever I see this card, Sagittarius, I see this as somebody that needs to be reminded of this. And when I see this being in the sense of where it's like, oh, someone needs to be reminded that they're good enough, then that's like, makes me wonder, it's just like, well, what has you in this place, Sagittarius, that has you in this headspace of where it's just like, you don't feel like you're good enough for this connection, perhaps, right? You have the Five of Swords and the Chariot card coming in here. It's interesting. It's interesting because it's like, with this Five of Swords, I feel like there's some type of hurt being made that probably took a blow to your ego, Sagittarius. Something happened, maybe dealing with this person or not, and it could be completely unrelated, right? Something took a blue blow to your ego, and now it's because of that you have that full moon in Virgo coming in, Sagi, where it's just like, no, you aren't good enough. Yeah, this Five of Swords, you had this Five of Swords moment. You Maybe some of you guys felt like you were getting backstabbed right? You felt betrayed. Some of you guys, you just feel as if, like, um, no matter how hard you try, it doesn't feel like it's good enough, right? But I see you getting out of this energy relatively quick. I see some fast-forward movement for you, Sagittarius, because of this chariot card coming in. I would say the chariot card is doesn't come in for an individual that is on the wrong path, right? Because Spirit's not going to bring forth that chariot energy, to you, Sagittarius, if you're going down the wrong path, because spirit wouldn't want you to continue going down that path even at an even, at an even quicker pace, Sagittarius, right? So when I see that card, I'm like, okay, you're 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 going through your rough patch now, but things are definitely very quickly going to start looking up for you. But I feel like we first need to address like that full moon in Virgo, man. We got to figure out like why you're not feeling good enough, right? What happened to you with that five of swords energy that just puts you in that headspace, uh, Saji? So let's address your actual tarot cards. On your side of things, Sagittarius, we have the ten of cups. So you are in this place of craving um, that family. You are in this place of craving that stability of that emotional fulfillment when it comes to this person. Um, I don't know if you're getting, I don't think you're getting that right now <laughs> from this person, Sagittarius, because it's like, if you were getting it from this person, you want to have that full moon in Virgo coming in, right? I feel like maybe you don't feel like you're deserving of this Ten of Cups moment, because maybe some of you uh, Sagittarius is, have been working so hard and trying to get to this Ten of Cups experience and you just haven't, right? Some of you Sagittarius is probably are starting to have a little bit of a cynical view when it comes to partnerships, when it comes to love, when it comes to other people, because, or just when it comes to you even finding your own happiness, Sagittarius, because it's just like, you just probably feel like not a lot has really worked out for you, so it's like, why bother? 
which is just not a good energy to have, Sagittarius. We don't want to be in that uh, cynical headspace, right? It's understandable as it might be sometimes. That's not something that we want to really continue on with too much, right? Because that can start affecting our relationships as well, not even just this one. Um, so on their side of things, Sagittarius, we have the Five of Cups coming in here. This is somebody that, this is probably what caused you some hurt. I see this person having walked away and they probably spilled some blood along <laughs> on their way out, right? They probably said some things that got you in your feelings or maybe it's just through their actions or lack of actions towards you, Sagittarius, that um, put you in this headspace or just hurt feelings. Because I do feel like you're hurt in some sense. I feel like that hurt is what puts you in this place of perhaps, I mean this with love, Sagittarius, but perhaps like you've been in like a stale place recently because of that, right? You took that blow to the ego, you heard that bad news, you got that bad news, or it's just, you realize this other person, you think you realize this other person's perception of you and it's kind of like, I don't know, it just took you for, it just is like a, took you for a loop mentally. We have as the energy between y'all two, the Empress. So growth is happening in this connection. Um, so I can dare I say this Five of Cups moment isn't uh, permanent, whatever that is for them, Sagittarius. I do feel like, especially when you have the Empress card, it kind of lets you know that there's a bigger picture and spirit has in plan for this connection, right? This probably, I am gonna be honest here, Sagittarius, with this person, I really do feel like this person's here to teach you a lot. And what I mean by this is that those lessons don't always come in feeling fluffy and feel good, right? When spirit uses <laughs> when spirit uses other individuals to, to carry out their lessons, um, which basically just exposing you to different experiences, what I mean by that, Sagittarius. Um, it's usually like not wrapped around a bunch of feels good. It usually causes some hurt feelings because it's like when you're triggered, when you're hurt, Sagittarius, while it doesn't feel good, it's during those states that you become self-aware of the inner workings of your mind. You start becoming aware of um, the cranks and gears and cogwheels of your head and like how you process things. And that's when during your most vulnerable state, Sagittarius, that's when you are able to... Um, kind of just figure yourself out and just be like, oh, this and this works in this way. I don't really like it in this way. So let's do a little bit of changing over here or in how you're processing this and this and this. It brings awareness to this, right? And so I do, back of the deck card is the strength card, Sagittarius. Now, if you are any, if you are familiar with my readings at all, Sagittarius, I always call the strength card as the card of shadow work. And this is literally what I was saying right beforehand. Uh, area, I almost called you Aries, Sagittarius, um, is this, like, this person's making you go through some shadow work, right? This person's triggering stuff in you, bringing out some feelings in you that you probably never felt before in such an impactful way, and it's here to teach you something. This week is definitely here to teach you something, uh, Sagittarius. So, let's get some more insight now, Saggy, on that Ten of Cups, see what's going on with that. Uh, let's see. The star card comes out for you, which is a really powerful card to have. Wish fulfillment. I, uh, this is a layered message though, because with the star card, Sagittarius, this is one of those things where it's just like, you want to reach up for that star. That star feels unattainable. So it kind of goes back into that cynical nature of things. Um, but it's still a really overall good card, Sagittarius. Let's not get that. Let's keep that straight. Right. And I also want to point out in this with the star card as a representation of healing, um, letting go of things, weights being lifted off of your shoulder. Um, and that's why the symbolicness of the cup and the water here, it's because of the matters of the emotions. I feel like this person has really triggered your emotions, uh, Sagittarius. Um, but the end goal is a wish fulfillment with this. I really do feel like that Ten of Cups is like what it is that you're craving. Star card comes in Sagittarius, so where it's just like 
yeah, it's going to happen. It may not feel it right now for you, Saji, but you, this Ten of Cups may feel unobtainable right now, but Spirit has a better plan for you soon. Now, I pulled three cards for you. This is a Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, and an Eight of Cups. So, with this Sagittarius, I'm getting that, um, again, I just feel like your, your fight or flight's probably, probably being triggered um, by this person, Sagittarius, because it's just like, you're probably having conflicting thoughts of being like, oh, I like this person, and you re really want to have something deeper with them. But then you're just like, uh, I don't know if it's worth it, right? Because your guard is up. You're in this place of where it's just like, you kind of want to walk away from them. Eight of Cups, where it's just like, because you're not happy while you're doing this, right? In this deck, this person is like kind of slumped over. Um, you're just really in your head because it's, when you have this page of cups as well, you're just like, you see the potential in this person. It's like, I do feel like this person brings out, yeah, all those negative emotions that triggers you, but I also feel like it brings out more depthful, positive emotions in your life as well. So that's why it's probably, um, <laughs> it's probably why you're probably having such a blow for this because you probably really wanted something with this person and something just happened that caused you to just be like oh like it took a blow queen of swords is the energy that you're in so you're definitely hurt you're definitely guarded right now your guard is up um because of this, right? You're probably, it was like, you know, you think of like a wounded animal, when an animal is wounded, that's when they're, mo they're most defensive and that's when they might snap at you if you get close to them because they're feeling very vulnerable. They're feeling very hurt and they just don't trust anything because they're afraid of being taken advantage of. They're afraid of, I mean, <laughs> from a predator and prey standpoint, like if a hurt animal is being afraid of you, it's because they don't want to be that meal, right? Um, but let's start pulling some cards now, Sagittarius, on their side of things. Figuring out what is going on with that Five of Cups, because that is a really interesting energy to have, Saji. And especially, oh no, the cards just flew out. And especially with the dynamic on your side of things and how things seem to be starting to pan out, Saji, it's definitely interesting to me how um, things are going. So, I'm seeing this Sagittarius. I always say this too. These two cards always come out together. Pages, no matter what deck I'm using, page, uh, not page, two of pentacles and the seven of uh, swords. This is really impact. This is a really impactful pairing, Sagittarius, because it's like <laughs> they're weighing out their options. They know a choice needs to be made, but it's like this is just a lot of. I'm sorry. Anytime I start talking a lot, Sagittarius, I end up having like some air trapped <laughs> that starts trying to come out randomly. <laughs> I apologize. Um, this, these two cards are really emphasizing the chaotic life that they're in and the chaotic, the chaos that's around in their physical environment, but also in their mental environment, right? Two of Pentacles, this is the chaos in their physical environment, right? Because there's chaos going on behind the scenes as they're trying to weigh out their decisions and make a choice. Seven of Swords comes in matter of their mind because it's swords are air energy. This is a card where they're just like feeling overwhelmed with too much. And that's probably why um, with that Five of Cups energy, Sagittarius, they probably needed to have some distance from you to start thinking things through. Right? Because I really do see them thinking about the bigger picture of things, Saji. Because they have the World card coming in with the Eight of Pentacles. And so this is somebody that's just like wanting to do big changes in their life, wanting to break out of cycles, wanting to just do more, wanting to grow. Um, really just wanting just more in general, Sagittarius. So maybe they just, because of all that chaos, they probably just got a little bit overwhelmed and just need some time to recluse, probably have just some hermit energy, essentially, to just like process things, to think things through. But the chariot card does come in of where it does talk about, I guess, addresses why this chariot card comes in as the general energy of things, because they're probably the chariot coming in for you, Sagittarius. I do probably see this as like, once they do figure things out, they might come towards you, right? The energy is definitely uh, warming up towards you. And then Page of Swords. So yeah, this person's watching you. 
uh, Sagittarius, this person is still keeping you in mind. Don't feel like they've forgotten you, um, but they are just trying to figure themselves out. Now, Sagittarius, if you do want something with them, then you probably have to just more so figure out a way to help them settle the chaos in their mind. What is causing that chaos in their mind, right? Do they feel like... Because that's the thing. They're just trying to get to this place of growth and really doing big things with their life, Sagittarius. So it kind of feels like if you were to approach them, um, you want to come at it speaking from, big, from a place of... Uh, thinking of the big picture coming at it from a place of like long term because i see that's what they're attracted to is like longevity they're attracted to stability they're attracted to motivation right let's look at this empress card as the energy between y'all two now sagittarius see what's up with that back of the deck energy queen of pentacles this is this <laughs> this is definitely an energy sagittarius where it's like you both need to just tend to yourself right now. I really do feel like this is a good week of introspection for both of you guys. On your side of things, Sagittarius, to figure out what this connection is here to teach you, why you're feeling the things that you're feeling, and how you want to go forward in this connection, right? Because I do see that fight or flight with you, that guarded energy with that Queen of Swords. Um, their side of things, they just need to figure out their chaos, you know, what have you. The energy between y'all two... strength card comes in again for you Sagittarius didn't we have the strength card earlier forgive me I've been fasting for five days Sagittarius, so I don't remember I feel like we talked about the strength card for you earlier in the back of the deck energy where this connection here is to teach you something the Empress card is talking about growth 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 honey you, and with the strength card as well it's not easy growth it's definitely a very character building thing um, for both of you Nine of Swords comes in with the Fool card. So both you guys want to... Both... I do see deep down, Sagittarius, you both care about one another. You both have this Fool energy about one another where it's just like... It feels like if on both sides you guys tell yourselves, like, if the stars were aligned, this would be such a beautiful connection. If the stars were aligned, then I would take that leap of faith. I would be the Fool and go after them. But until those stars are aligned, you get into this Nine of Swords energy... You get that anxiety about this connection. You get into that overthinking nature. You get into this place that just stops you, essentially, um, from going forward with it. And until you get to that point, like, even though I did say with that Queen of Pentacles, I know Sagittarius, some of you guys probably rolled your eyes and were like, I don't want to do this because um, this connection, the thought of this connection really weighs heavy on you. Um, I just see this as a thing of, yeah, it weighs heavy on you now, but I definitely see the story getting a lot better for you guys eventually, Sagittarius, I promise you. But um, that's the cards that I have for you, Sagittarius. If this reading resonated, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share this video with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Till next time, though, Sagittarius, I love you so much. Bye.